Hi everyone. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how the scan data I got from the can opener scene can be used to determine the speed of its victims. The victim I was most curious about was this pickup truck pulling a huge fifth wheel camper, running a red light, and then losing all its rooftop accessories. Before I show you how I calculate its speed, what do you all think the truck's speed is? The speed limit is 25. Do you think it is going way over the speed limit? Just over? Right at the speed limit? Or maybe even below? Let me know in the comments what your guess is. The technique I'm going to be using is a bit involved. However, for this particular video at least, there is an easier way to calculate its speed. As I'm working through this procedure, see if you can find that easier way. I'll be doing it at the end as a cross check. To start, I have the video from YouTube in Blender so I can step through each frame. According to the metadata for the video, its frame rate is 23.98 frames per second. I'll do a more detailed verification of that later. This technique requires that I get the camera position and orientation. I'm going to use the second camera angle as I think it will give better results. To do this, I render out a frame of the video without the truck in it. I then import it and the scan data into MeshLab. MeshLab has a good procedure for camera matching. I'm going to pick four points in the scan data and then their corresponding points in the image. With that, it should be able to solve for the camera position. It's important that these points are not in a straight line, and it helps that they are not all in the same area, and also not near the edges of the frame, as that is where the most lens distortion usually is. With four points correlated, I get MeshLab to solve it, and this is what it got. The errors are in pixels and are way too large, and that is because it did not solve for the focal length. I like to do this manually, adjusting and then resolving it to see if the error goes down. I increased the focal length and got this result with much smaller errors. Using the mouse wheel changes the transparency of the image and shows that the result is good. However, there is some misalignment in this bridge support, so I added another point there to improve the results. Using MeshLab and this camera position allows me to project the image onto the scan data, which will give me the position of the truck on the scene. Now I need to pick the best frames from the video to project. I select four of them. The first is when the front wheel just comes into frame, then when the trailer wheels come into frame, next the last frame where I can see the front wheel, then the last frame I can see the trailer wheels. I bring these frames into a photo editor and add a plus sign where each tire touches the ground. Some error is going to be introduced since the frames have some motion blur. To minimize that, I'm going to try to analyze over the largest distance possible. I then take these frames and project them onto the scan data, then import those results into Rhino where I can take some measurements. Here is the first projected frame in which I will mark the position of the front tire as front. The second frame I will mark the front, rear, and trailer tires. The third frame the same thing, and the last frame I'll mark the trailer tires one last time. Next I'll measure the distances and put those in a spreadsheet. Since we have the distance and the time, we can calculate the speed. Before that, I need to verify that the frame rate of 23.98 frames per second is correct. There is an unknown chain of custody here, the camera recording the incident, the video being downloaded off the camera, the video being loaded into some video editing software, then re-rendered, then uploaded to YouTube. It is possible one of those steps changed the speed of the video. To check that, I take the video I took when scanning the scene and time how long it took for the light to change from yellow to red, a bit over three seconds, which is the same I got for the subject video, verifying that 23.98 frames per second is correct. Between the two camera angles, it's about the same too, as it takes about the same amount of time to hit both AC units. I put all the numbers into the spreadsheet and get the average speed of the truck was 28 miles per hour. However, I'm a bit concerned about the variation. Stepping through the frames, there's another issue with the frame rate. Not all the frames are unique, with every two to three frames being repeated. Not accounting for this can add some error to the calculations. To correct for this, I figured out the actual unique frame rate by stepping through and counting the number of unique frames over five seconds, and got 75 unique frames, which translates to 15 frames per second. 15 frames per second is a weird frame rate. However, maybe because the camera had increased the shutter speed for the dark conditions, it reduced the frame rate. Correcting for this gives what I believe are better results and may even indicate that the driver was slowing down some. 
This was a real case with real consequences. I take more steps to verify some of these assumptions. So an average speed of 29 miles per hour. Did anybody guess that? Did you notice an easier way to calculate the speed? Maybe you notice the truck runs over these two manhole covers and in fact appear to be directly over them with the front tire on frame 607 and 617. We can even measure the distance covered without the need for scan data using Google Earth. Doing that, we get 17.5 feet. Between the two frames, I counted six unique frames, which gives a speed of 30 miles per hour, the same speed that the more involved method got over the same area. That wraps up this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If there is another video you would like me to do a speed analysis, make sure to drop it in the comments below.